Hey folks, welcome back to our videos and we're going to talk about the Google search tool that is in your template. Now it may be visible or not visible in your page. We may have turned it off. It's one of those components that sometimes it's, it's uh, rendered invisible depending on which uh, layout you're working with or what template you're working with. But it's something that it may or may not be visible on your page, but you can always turn it on and enable it if you want to. I'll cover that in a second. But this is the tool we're talking about right here. Now, what it does is you need to create a Google account if you want to use this particular item. Uh, once you've created your Google account, you can then go and create a Google search tool. You can tell it what site you want Google to spider. Um, when Google has actually come to your website, and this may take a month or two, so it's not a, an immediate thing, but once Google has spidered the information in your website, when a visitor uses this particular search tool on your web page, the results that are displayed will only be from your website. It will not be from like all the other stuff that's, that shows up. Okay, so that's just something you want to you may want to know. Uh, the other thing about this tool is there's two versions. At least last time I looked, there was a free version and a paid version. The free version will show advertising, as Google does whenever you use a regular Google search. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Right, so by default, it actually links into uh, the i3D themes uh, dummy account that I've created. But if we just typed in the word templates here and we hit the old search button, a little window pops up see the results they're only from the i3d themes website which is really cool but Google has to come and spy to your site now fortunately uh, that term that I typed in there doesn't actually have any advertising applied to it so that's even better um, you may have some sort of an ad that shows up on the right hand side over here much as you know like Google does so it depends on what term is typed in and if it's very popular and that sort of a thing but uh, that's sort of the gist of how the Google search tool works in your site, a visitor would actually click on a link, it would actually take them to that page, and that page would be within your own website. Now, how to set this up. Let's go into Dreamweaver here and open up our library and our shared folder and our Google search LBI page. Really, the, all we want to do is we want to create a new a Google account, we want to create a search tool within our Google account, and we want to get the um, ID for that search tool and just simply paste it in here where the uh, default ID, or the default key, I should call it, is, uh, is pasted. Now, one thing to note is Google changes their website all the time. Uh, since I've started working with this tool probably about two years ago, I think they've changed their actual website five times now. So what you see in the video may look similar to what you actually see when you go to the site, but the idea or the process of creating a uh, new Google search and creating a key is pretty much been the same so that process won't change or how we update the existing Google search won't change so um, let's jump into it shall we let's go to the Google site and I'll show you how to fire up the uh, the tool here so we just go to google.com and we type in Google CSE not CS3 CSE there we go first thing that shows up custom search engine by Google cool we're in the right spot now we're going to click on that now, if we have a Google account, it's going to take us right into the custom search page. If we don't have a Google account, you just need to create one. And whatever page it shows you will basically say, oh, you need to sign up because you don't have a Google account or you're not logged in. So log in or sign up. And once you've done that, then you can come back and you'll be presented with the custom search page. And all you need to do is create a new search engine or add one. We're just going to hit add in this example. And you type in the URL of your website i3dthemes.com and if you have more than one site you want to uh, show results for you can actually add in more URLs so if you have several different sites and you want the results from your from your visitor to display results from all your sites you just keep typing in until you're you're done okay and once you've typed in the URLs for your websites okay hit the create button there we go. Now we've got this cool little add it to your site. So we're going to go hit the get code. And here's the code we want here. This this thing here, this key is all we really want. However, watch this. As soon as I select the key and let go with my mouse, it selects all the code. Google's really smart. They don't want you to miss anything. Unfortunately, we don't need all that code. So I'm going to show you what I will typically do here is I'll copy this entire highlighted section of stuff. I'll go back, go back to Dreamweaver. I'm going to go down to the bottom of my page here underneath all this commented information and I'm just going to paste. We'll do an edit paste here. 
so you can get see what's going on here. So I just paste that stuff that I've copied from Google. And all I need is this big old key here. And it may be in the same location when you when you update yours. It may be moved around a little, a little bit. I've seen it in various different forms. But ideally, it's going to be this big, long string of text and information. And that is your key. You want to copy that. Oops, control C. And up at the top here where we, we see our var CX equals in between the single quotes, we want to paste it. So we're just going to highlight the key that's already there. Right. And I'm just my little trick is backspace it out to make sure I have two single quotes and the cursor flashing between them. Cool. I do. That means I haven't knocked one out of place by accident. While it's still flashing, I'm going to press control V or edit paste. And there it is. And just to verify, there's my key there. It starts with a zero, ends with a K. If I go down here, it starts with a zero, ends with a K. Good. And I've got a single quote on each side. Okay, I do. Wonderful. Now I can go down here and get rid of this script and all that junk that I pasted in earlier. I can save my page. File, save, update my site, and then if it's a brand new website URL or brand new domain, it could take Google a few weeks or a month to come by and, and uh, check out all your pages. And if Google doesn't know you exist because you haven't had anybody linked to your site yet, it's probably a good idea to just go back to the instructions page and read and click on the link on how to add your URL to Google to let them know that your site is now live and that they can come by and spider the pages in your site. 